Hello students, I am Ms. Dhanashri Bhute from Patugala College of Commerce and Management and today we are going to learn a very interesting topic on the concept of brand positioning and the strategies of positioning and this topic is taken from TYBMS Semester 6. In a particular product category, there are different brands offering different benefits. For example, in soap category, there are different brands which offer different benefits to the consumers. For example, Dove, the brand of toilet soap, says that it is a mild soap which is best for the uh, dry skin woman. Then there is Dettol soap which says that it is an antiseptic soap which helps to kill germs. And here both the products are trying to portray their unique feature in front of the consumer and they are trying to convincing the consumer that see this is my unique feature and this is how my product is different from the other products in the market and this is known as brand positioning. So let us understand the meaning of brand positioning. According to Philip Kotler, brand positioning is the act of designing the company's offerings and image to occupy a distinctive place in the minds of the target audience. Here, the brands try to create a unique place, a distinct place in the minds of the audience by telling them that my brand is superior to the rest of the brands in the market. My brand has something unique to offer to the consumer that other brands cannot offer. This is known as brand positioning. Different positioning strategies are undertaken by the companies to create a distinctive image about their brand in the minds of the customers. The marketers can adopt different positioning strategies in order to develop a particular image of the brand in the minds of the target audience. Let us speak about the first positioning strategy that is positioning by product features. Here, the brand try to highlight the specific product features which would benefit the consumers. At times, a new product can be positioned with respect to the product features that the competitors do not have. For example, Tata Motors have positioned their product Indica EV2 as the India's most fuel efficient car. Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief has positioned its toothpaste as a toothpaste which relieves you from sensitivity problem. This strategy is known as positioning by product features. The next strategy which is undertaken by the company is positioning by price and quality. Nowadays people are more quality sensitive or people are more price sensitive or people are both. They are quality sensitive as well as price sensitive. Many a times the marketer may position the product as quality product that is worth the money. For example, the Mercedes Benz cars, they position themselves as luxury cars with premium service, better quality features, top class performance and hence they charge a premium price for their product but here the consumer is also willing to pay the price. The next example can be taken of Walmart. Walmart provides the uh, goods to the people at lesser possible cost but at less possible prices that means people can even save money and get better quality products. So these are some of the uh, strategies which are undertaken by the companies where they use price and quality as the tools to create a distinctive image in the minds of the consumers. The next strategy is positioning by use. Here the brands can position the products on the basis of the usability and application of the product which is distinct from the rest of the competitors in the market. For example, the positioning done by Maggi noodles is that the Maggi noodles are faster to cook and they are good to eat. Next is Sensodyne toothpaste. They say that the Sensodyne toothpaste helps to relieve from the sensitivity problem. Then the BMW, it position its car as a car which can give sheer driving pleasure. The next positioning strategy is positioning by user's category. 
the brands may be associated with a user or a particular class of users for example luxury cars like rolls royals or luxury watches like rolex watches are normally used by rich and famous people the marketers may use famous personalities or models to influence the audience for example the lux soap of hindustan unilever it is portrayed as the beauty soap of film star which is used by the film stars and this uh, positioning helps uh, the companies to persuade the consumers to buy the products because they believe that these products are used by the famous personalities and hence they should also use them the next strategy is positioning by product class here the marketers highlight the product class association in this the marketer try to attract a particular class of consumers for example the dove soap which is a cleaning cream product try to target the women with dry skin next there are some health conscious consumers and hence there are some companies which try to attract them with some unique products for example kellogg's has positioned its brand kellogg's k as a diet food then coca cola has positioned its brand diet coke as a diet drink so here in this positioning strategy a particular class of consumers is targeted and hence the product is positioned to attract those kind of customers of a particular class some marketers use the positioning by cultural symbols and names where the marketers may use cultural symbols to differentiate their brand from the competitors for example dena bank has used the image of goddess lakshmi in their logo dabur has used banyan tree to attract the consumers who are more inclined toward ayurveda the next positioning strategy is positioning by competitors here the company tries to tell the audience that where they stand in the list of the competitors or where they rank in the different competitors in a particular market in some cases the references may be made directly or indirectly to one or more companies for example the most famous positioning strategy of this type is of avis where they say that we are only number 2 so we try harder so here the company is saying that they are on the second position that means they are trying hard to come on the first position they are only one step ahead to be on the top position the next positioning strategy is positioning by benefit good number of companies position their product on the basis of product benefits product benefits can be delivered in two forms first is the functional benefit second is the psychological benefit in functional benefit some special product features are highlighted to the consumers for example the good night mosquito mat has worked on the benefit aspect it emphasizes on good night sleep that means a consumer if he use the good night mosquito mat he can get a good sleep at night hence a tagline is push karo khush raho that means if you use our product you will get a good sleep at night and you will be happy the next benefit is psychological benefit the marketer use this kind of benefit to portray their product they position their product in such a way that if you use our product you will feel a sense of pleasure and pride for example the titan fast track watches it is positioned that if as if a person use this kind of watch he may feel a kind of pleasure and pride the next strategy is positioning by corporate image there are many companies in the market which has a good corporate image which has a good brand image in the market many companies position their products on the basis of their corporate name a good number of companies often use their corporate name to leverage their position for example dell intel here they have a good corporate image and hence they position their products on the basis of that corporate image here the name of the company is enough to create a distinctive image of their products in the minds of the consumers
The next positioning strategy is positioning by emotional appeal. A firm may position its product by dramatizing emotions. The firm may use emotional appeal to attract the consumers towards its product. For example, Cadbury Dairy Milk has launched its Shubh Aram campaign in July 2010. And this is based on the concept that Indian traditions of having something sweet before every auspicious occasion and this belief have started the campaign of Shubharam where the company tries to imprint on the minds of the consumers that before every beautiful occasion, before every uh, good news, there has to be Cadbury with it. Hence, this is kind of an emotional appeal which try to persuade the consumers to buy a Cadbury on every good occasion. The next strategy is positioning by highlighting social values. Some companies use positioning by social values to distinguish themselves from the competitors. By using this strategy, the company deals with social and cultural issues. For example, the Tata T Jagore campaign which deals with social issues like corruption and they also try to create awareness among the consumers relating to the voting rights of the citizens. Then the HUL positions its Surf Excel as a quick wash detergent which uh, works on the basis of social problem of water shortage by having a tagline save two buckets of water every day. That means if you use our uh, Surf Excel product to wash your clothes, then your clothes will also be washed easily within two buckets of water. That means you will also save water and you will also get clean clothes by using our products. So here in these two examples, the companies are trying to highlight the social issues and this is again considered as a positioning strategy. So students, in this session, we learned about what is brand positioning and what are the different strategies of brand positioning which are undertaken by the companies to create a distinct, a unique image in the minds of the consumers. I hope you all have understood the different strategies and that's all for the session. Thank you.